Hey, what's up guys? We are in Hawaii. We got up today at 5 a.m. We were supposed to go work out, but it seems like in Hawaii, everybody's kicked back. So nothing opens till about eight or nine. And now we're out here hiking. JC, wrong strong. I want to talk about probation today. Born and raised in Chicago, uh, South Side. Valerie is my daughter's godmother, and Dee's my daughter's godfather. It, it all comes down to one thing. My whole life, I've been living a life as a criminal. I've broken the law, and I've been doing things that I shouldn't be doing. I've been told what to do, when to do it, what I can and can't do, if I could travel. To have that mentality of always expecting something bad, that's just years and years of doing wrong. That's, that's just, that's just put it out there straight up. That was to film that video with uh, Fat Joe Crush, uh, Crush tonight. Kato comes on the video, man. Um, stuff was moving pretty fast for me in Chicago, man, but I started getting into a lot of trouble because I started having that mentality that since I had money, I was untouchable. If you're not doing nothing you're not supposed to be doing, then you shouldn't expect bad consequences. They're gonna make you jump through some hoops, but you put yourself there. You caught that case. You did what you had to do to get to where you're at. So do what you gotta do to get off of probation. I made a, a constant decision when I started getting older that I did want to change, that I did want more. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in prison. <laughs> Things do change, but you have to do the work. It's just like working out. You have to do the work in order for your life to change. If you put in the work, your life will change. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I just share my experiences with you guys so that way you guys can see my life and see what I'm doing. That's it. Sometimes I think I'm dreaming, sometimes I think that I'm gonna like wake up and I'm gonna be back in that cell. You know, cause I've really never been this happy before. I never had this peace. So it's like sometimes I'm like, man, is it real? Am I gonna wake up back in that prison cell where I was at? That's what I'm wrong when a dog can swim better than me. Say that again. Something's wrong when a dog can swim better than me. Whenever you're ready. How did I get here? <laughs> I mean, you know how they say that God takes everything bad and turns it into something good? That's how, how I feel that he did, did with my life. You know, after I spent all those years in prison in Mexico, here, you know, state, federal, everywhere, 
And then not only that, the prison that I had inside my head with the addictions, the, the, you know, the porn, the women, all that stuff, that was 28 years. So I was incarcerated really for 45 years of my life. When I started my walk with Jesus last year, <laughs> Everything changed. Everything changed. My whole life changed. The the phone calls started coming in for the podcast. The uh, TV shows started calling. E everything changed. So, man, I'm just blessed to be here today. I'm blessed to just be soaking all this in. And I mean, God is good. So like when I see you, like I guess you could say a person. My bad. Oh, that's Yeah. Thank you. Bowl two. Bowl two. <laughs> Yo, you already know why he's here. What's up, baby? That's my cousin, bitch. <laughs> no, no, we gotta do it with the chocolates and shit, yo. Gotcha. Oh, shit, man. No. I'm running up that thing. I'm Yo, there's people that run up yeah. it. They'll, 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 they'll run up it. Do it. They'll do it like five, six times in one day. <laughs> no, I, I honestly like when I, when my my, my wife, because my wife's from New Jersey. Oh, she's from yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, we met her. We met her. I met her. So, she's my cool. Savage. Oh, savage. I had to learn to like not be afraid to tell her things. And JC is my boy, man. That's my dude. I known him from way back. I known JC, JC from who he is now and from who he was before who he is now. So, how have you seen him change? Wow, big change, man. Just in a, he's changed in a positive way, man. Like I'm proud of him. He just changed. Um, man, me and him go back, and uh, we used to do so much, uh, just crazy stuff together. Just he's just changed in a positive way, and um, I, I can't even really put it in words. I'm just really happy for him that he's he, he's changed and he's doing something better with himself and his life. My uh, my childhood was uh, pretty bad, more than bad. You know, um, my mom had to move in with her brother to pretty much, uh, you know, be able to take care of us because she was a single mom. Didn't know how to speak English. Didn't know how to work. My bad. My dad just, you know, up and abandoned us out of nowhere one day. So, you know, we were forced to move in with him and. He was the person that, that did a lot of a lot of damage to me, you know. He started he started raping me. He started molesting me. And you know, he used to lock me in this room, dark room, for like hours sometimes. And the worst part was when he would he would fill up the bathtub with ice water. And it was almost like a, I don't know, like he would start getting it ready and I would start like really getting really scared. Because I knew what was about to happen and Sure enough, man, he would start, you know, drowning me, pulling me out, drowning me, pulling me out, and it got to the point where I was pretty much terrified of water. I mean, I still am. I don't know how to swim. <laughs> I mean, this is this has been almost like a dream, just coming here to be able to fly over the water. And, I mean, I, I was terrified when I got on the plane, but now that I'm here, I feel like God is just working. I'm slowly healing. Uh, all those things that happened to me as a kid. <laughs> Just gotta run in there, bruh. Go for it. <laughs> 